Hello, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. And welcome to Rain and Fire and Church Work of Future Church. Uh, you're actually on the word. <laughs> all right, the word. Hallelujah. And I thank God for all of you. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, welcome again. Uh, this is Dr. Tony West, advisor of Israel. Hallelujah. And we are praying for you. And we pray that everything is going well with you in the Lord. Hallelujah. And we pray for your family. And I pray that this anointing um, that's going to come from this um, broadcasting today will overflow and outpour into your laps. Amen. And I pray right now that um, this generational wealth um, the Lord has given me by his spirit, amen, that you guys will be activated in your true calling and also you guys will um, be activated in the generational wealth um, that God is transferring to his people, hallelujah. But nevertheless, I want to speak about Elijah anointing, hallelujah. I had did another prophetic word uh, concerning the Elijah anointing, hallelujah, and at that time I did not, re did not realize, I'm sorry, that it was a twofold word. Amen. And so nevertheless, um, the Elijah anointing, um, God is showing me that um, there will be the mantles that, that, that will be falling on some of you to do kingdom work, uh, to do mighty kingdom work, Father, uh, hallelujah, um, um, uh, that's going to bring, I'm sorry, it's going to bring um, multiplication. Um, increase and also creative miracles. Amen. If you read our uh, first Kings uh, chapter 17 verses 8 through 16 very quickly, um, it speaks about the widow. Hallelujah. And for those that are familiar with the word hallelujah, we know that Elijah actually created a miracle for that widow while the Lord had already charged and commanded the widow to be prepared to uh, to keep his prophet in. Hallelujah. And we know that one of you keep a prophet, uh, you feed a prophet, uh, what happens? The Bible said that you'll receive what a profit reward and that's what she did she received a profit reward you know amen as the phantom was going on hallelujah um you know that god kept her house covered god kept her house um stored amen even though at the time um amen she felt like she had nothing um but in god's eyes the supernatural god that we serve uh hallelujah um that poured out a supernatural blessing over her life hallelujah and it also created a miracle a miracle um through his servant elijah hallelujah um the little that she had God took that and it multiplied. All right. But the knowing that Elijah had carried that 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 grace uh, mantle, that extra increase um, that God had given him that he walked in. How we see Elijah would come into the room and things that wasn't existed came into existence. Okay, amen. I mean, as in things that wasn't there suddenly appeared, all right, amen. I mean, because God was using him uh, very powerfully back in that time. The Lord showed me that Elijah walked in uncommon wealth, all right. Elijah had uncommon favor, hallelujah. And also, Elijah created uncommon miracles, uncommon, I'm sorry, uncommon healings. And also, Elijah could speak the word out and the dead would arise. Amen. And so the anointing that Elijah carried, um, it, it, it it brought things that were dead back to life. Amen. And that's what God is trying to do for you uh, in this uh, season and also in this time. Amen. Uh, one thing still I mean the most about uh, uh, Elijah and Jesus Christ uh, Mashiach, hallelujah, is that, that the Father keeps the same pattern, amen? If you read the word, you'll know what it says, hallelujah, you can see the same pattern lead up to the Lord, amen, on um, the Christ, amen? And so nevertheless, so, uh, what got me the most was uh, when the widow had asked Elijah to bring him a small cup of water to drink. Amen. And then it took my mind back to John chapter four, hallelujah, from the time that um that um Jesus Yeshua uh, Mashiach, hallelujah, um, that he asked the Samaritan woman to give him a drink of water. Why? Because you know, uh he had a gift that he wanted to give her. He wanted to give her a life, all right, an eternal life, and a life more abundantly. He said to him, to, to the woman of God, uh, paraphrasing, if you know who was asking for the drink, my God. Mm, my God, if you would have asked him, he said, if you know who you was asked or who was asking for the drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. Amen. All right. And so nevertheless, so then we go back here. Hallelujah. Back to first Kings and 17. Uh, Elijah kind of said the same thing before um, the Lord was here in the flesh. Amen. He asked for a cup of water and the woman of God gave him a cup of water and she received what the prophet reward. Same time with, the, with uh, Jesus. Hallelujah. He asked the woman, uh, the Samaritan woman to give him a, a drink with, with a cup of water per se. Amen. And then what happened? She was blessed abundantly. Amen. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says, you know, amen. Uh, you know, anyone who drinks from him, 
will never thirst again. I have said before that, uh, amen, that because that we are drinking from the fountain of the Lord. We are drinking from the fountain of Christ. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, that's why you are surviving through this famine because God cannot go back on his word. Amen. He said, if you choose to drink from me, if you choose to drink from my water, hallelujah, you will never thirst. That means food will be on your table. Food will be in, on the, in, the, in the refrigerator. Amen. I mean, you're going to have gas in your car. Hallelujah. You're going to be able to have a job through this critical time that we season. I mean, that we see in, in season and out season. Hallelujah. God is going to keep you. I mean, your mind going to be right. You're going to have strength. You're not going to be paralyzed in the spirit, neither by in the natural. God is going to keep you and his children because you decided to drink from that everlasting water. Amen. And so here in our first Kings, we see because the woman had chosen to obey the Lord's command, because right at the second verse, amen, it says, this is a widow. He said, there is a widow, I'm sorry, that I commanded to take care of you. All right. So he already had spoke to the mind of the prophet, let the mind of the prophet know, hallelujah, uh, that he has someone in position for him. All right. And so nevertheless, because he wanted to bring forth a gift, a blessing, hallelujah. And so because she obeyed God and obeyed the prophet, amen, she received what? The, the prophet reward and much more because, uh, you know, everything was filled. Everything was filled through that whole entire family. She didn't have anything more about, you know, she took that, uh, she took that, uh, that jar of flour, hallelujah, and also that jug of oil, hallelujah. And I'm telling you, God restored it. God stored her up, her up all the way until the rain finally came. And I believe it took like three years, if I'm not mistaken, hallelujah, uh, for that rain to fall, to, fall me, uh, to fall, amen. And so, I mean, I'm telling you, and that's what God is doing for us in this time. So for those that are worrying and for those that think that God has forgotten about you, he has not. Because the word proven is that uh, here in 1 Kings uh, 17, uh, uh, 18 to 16, he did not forget about the widow, hallelujah. He created a miracle through his prophet and his servant, Elijah. And the anointing that God is releasing to some people in this hour is the spirit, hallelujah, and the anointing and the mantle of, the, of, of Elijah, amen. And this anointing is going to bring uncommon wealth, uncommon healing, I'm talking about uncommon things are going to happen, uncommon blessings. I mean, I mean, the whole entire atmosphere is just going to be uncommon. As soon as an Elijah, that man or woman who God puts the matter on, comes into your life, hallelujah, your whole life is going to change, okay? Amen. And also for you, but for the those that are watching and viewing me here, perhaps God has placed that same mantle upon you. And when people come to you, their whole life is going to be affected. It's going to supernaturally change because I believe that a, a that Elijah had walked in the supernatural, amen, because Elijah could use his mouth and things would just happen. I mean, fire would come down, the rain would stop, hallelujah, Elijah had raised the dead, hallelujah, and then Elijah, I believe, had uh, had performed eight miracles, which we knew beginnings uh, in the Bible in total, amen, but the miracles that he worked were so powerful, um, amen, I'm telling you, God could strategically um, use Elijah for that time. So I'm telling you uh, once again that the, be looking for the uncommon to happen in your life. Amen. I mean, God has already written your story. The finger of God is already upon you. Amen. God has already sent the word to the prophet, hallelujah, or either to the people of God that he has assigned for you, hallelujah. So you can rest down some brother. Some of you guys out there maybe are, are having um restless night, amen, where you can't sleep, you're worrying about finances, you're worrying about the bills, but the Bible said, do not worry about tomorrow, let tomorrow worry about itself, God has it already worked out, God has already have it written, all right, so stop worrying, know that God is God, and be still until, you know, that, that death angel, until that 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 uh that season of tough time, hallelujah, until it passes over. Amen. And so nevertheless, I pray that this message bless your life. I pray for healing. I pray for restoration. I pray for togetherness. And I pray for you, for those that don't not know Jesus, Mashiach, hallelujah, I pray that you will find him and you will establish a relationship with him and you will become saved. In Jesus' mighty great name. Amen. Next time, bye-bye, Shalom. Amen.